What the heck is up, you guys? It's your boy Ace, aka Animated Heroes, here back with another action figure review. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the SH Fig Yards Street Fighter Goulet, I think is how you say it, or Gilly. I have no idea. I don't know anything about this character at all. And you guys know exactly what that means. It's going to be a completely non biased review. Well, sort of, because I really do like military characters. But uh, again, no attachment to this character whatsoever. But let's go ahead and get into it, starting off with this really sexy packaging. Now, I don't know what it is, but I definitely like this box style a little bit more than the initial releases we got from the, I believe, Street Fighter V figures i'm not exactly sure but they had the white packaging this time around they're going with a purple and i think this really just looks a little bit better now as you can see it doesn't say street fighter 6 which i believe is the most recent one it just says street fighter it says gilly right there i guess that's how you say it outfit 2 so that leads me to presume this is not his uh casual outfit or leads me to believe whatever anyway we've got the window where you can see the figure looking really dope by the way this definitely looks like a cool figure um you've got him right there kind of posed up looking to the side bandai namco nothing much at the top image of him on the bottom same images on the front street fighter gilly right there gilly right there on the side then of course on the back you've got some poses you can get the figure into definitely looks like this guy is going to pose for sure uh there he is actually posed up with chun Li, the only one of the revived street fighter line that i don't have then of course you got the effect piece right here then a bunch of stuff at the bottom i cannot read because this figure was imported now before we get started i want to give a big shout out to the homie 86 for picking this figure up for me normally i like to tell people where i get my figures from this time around i don't know he grabbed it for me so sorry about that guys but i do believe it's currently still available to pre-order at big bad toy store if you want to get your hands on him i know all japanese sellers are completely completely sold out on this guy so yeah anyway let's bust him open now straight out of the packaging i'm gonna go ahead and say it i don't know what it is but every single time i get my hands on a brand new sh fig yards street fighter figure i feel like i am just overly impressed i truly feel like bandai goes all in on these figures and they just come out so good man now i know a lot of people didn't like the line when it first started they were saying that the ryu and chun li looked extremely like anime ish and it wasn't accurate to the video game but at the end of the day i don't care what anyone says man if you look at street fighter they look like anime characters man they're designed to be anime characters whether or not the game has a hint of realism to it it is what it is, man. They're anime looking characters. And so that's how the figures are going to turn out. And this guy right here just looks so damn good, man. Like, ah, oh, I, I like this a whole lot. Whoever is behind designing the Street Fighter figures, keep going, man. Keep going. I don't think there has been anything else announced since this guy, but I would really love for them to make some more characters. Now, I've always said I love the female characters more than the male characters. I don't really care about any of the guys, to be honest. But if this same person works on this line, please give me Ibuki. Please, please, please give me ibuki i would love that please give me jury and just poison i would love them all <laughs> don't let me start begging early in the review let's go ahead and take a closer look at this guy so we can examine some of these really really fine details now taking a closer look at johnny bravo as we can see i don't think he has eyebrows at all um it doesn't look like he does and i think this guy is some kind of like military sergeant he just looks like the type of guy to tell you drop and give me 50 <laughs> like it just looks like him man uh the freaking i don't even know what this cut is called so we're gonna say the johnny bravo cut uh the johnny bravo cut looks really good also could have used a little bit of shading in between the hair would have made it pop a little bit more but it's still not bad at all uh the muscles on this guy are ridiculous yo like look at the freaking veins 
popping in and out on this guy. That is that is crazy, yo. That is freaking ridiculous. You can see him all through the shirt. Uh, there's no shading in there, but with all the sculpt work, it gives you the illusion that there's shading in there. You've got the dog tags right here looking good. The necklace is sculpted onto the neck, so you don't have to worry about that going anywhere. Uh, it's painted very nicely. There's no bleeding or anything, so that's good. Uh, the skin tone is pretty much even all throughout the figure. You can tell it's a little bit different on the face because it's not molded in this color or it's molded in this color versus this being painted i think or maybe the opposite i don't know it's something like that but yeah the skin tone's a little bit different on the face it's a tad bit lighter but it's not so bad that it's distracting the belt is very clean i love love these military pants and combat boots yo this dude just looks like someone who is ready to go and i would love to see this guy go up against batman obviously he's gonna lose but i would still love to see it that would be sick um and one thing i really want to highlight is these american flags that i'm assuming are tatted on him i doubt he would just put these on his body as like uh temporary tattoos but these this is freaking good man as you can see all the stars are on there too like uh, it definitely looks like it has 50 stars. I'm not about to sit here and count them, but it looks like it has all 50 stars. So that is crazy, man. This this is a good looking figure, yo. I, I'm i just going to be honest with you guys. This is a very sick ass looking figure. Now, anyway, let's go ahead and put him back so we can see how tall he stands. Now to the top of his forehead, he is a little bit, actually he's right at about six inches, but to the top of the cut, he's about six and a quarter, a little bit under six and a half. So pretty tall figure. I guess it's his build that makes it feel like he's even bigger than he is. Uh, but of course, we'll do some size comparisons a little bit later. I've got quite a few Street Fighter figures I want to show him off next to. Now, when it comes to the articulation, he looks up about that much, looks down until the chin touches the pectoral, so you're not going to get any more than that. He does get really good tilt and turn. There's a joint that connects the neck into the torso here, but it's not going to be useful very much just because of all this dude's muscle definition, man. The arms only go up and out about that much. If you try to force it any further, they are going to pop off. I've already done that. Uh, so yeah, just be wary of that. Uh, the butterfly joints are not the most effective, but you can bring his arms in pretty far as you guys can see. And uh, that's painted very, very nicely. That is super, super sick. When it comes to the arms, he doesn't have a bicep swivel. Actually, the swivel comes out of the elbow and that's how it looks, which it's kind of weird, but it's still a cool design overall. Sometimes it can look weird at certain angles. This doesn't look bad, but obviously if you do something like that, then you're doing a little much. Now, when it comes to the elbow movement, they bend in about that much. And I wouldn't have expected any more because I mean, look at this dude's biceps, yo. <laughs> that's probably probably accurate to a real life freaking bodybuilder. Now the hands are going to be on a very sturdy ball peg. You get plenty of movement here, not much to worry about. The diaphragm joint, he leans back about that much, forward about that much, really, really good movement here. Now, side to side, I wouldn't do it too much because you might get a little bit of paint rub, so you don't want to do that. Obviously, these are the same colors, but I feel like this paint will scratch off. And the reason I say that is because if you look right here, not sure if you guys can see that, uh, that looks like skin tone paint where this sculpt work is right here and it's probably just a mistake on my figure it does suck but that's the reason i say be careful of the paint rub otherwise i wouldn't have even mentioned it because it would seem that it would be molded in this color at least the lower torso piece but you never know with these action figures anyway he leans forward about that much leans back about that much a little bit of gapping in there so be careful of that he kicks forward very freaking well does the splits very freaking well and now we move to our first problem he has no thigh swivel like this is all that you get and that sucks man i really wish you got more out of there i would have been okay if they had just separated this right here and given us a domestic thigh swivel that would have been fine with me but sadly we don't get it anyway knees bend about that much really freaking good again uh and then he has a swivel right here at the boot was not expecting that i just tried it and it worked so that's cool uh foot goes down holy sh oh i almost said something whoa i didn't know it was gonna do that that is sick goes up 
Oh man, no, not that much. It doesn't really go up much, but it goes back. Oh wait, yes it does. I lied, I lied. Holy shit. This dude is crazy, y'all. Foot goes up about that much. Really, really good ankle rocker. And then he does have a toe hinge. So articulation was, man, I dig this thing. I freaking dig this thing. Like for real, y'all. Y'all have no idea how much I'm enjoying this right now. Now, when it comes to accessories, you don't really get a whole lot with this guy, but they do include something that makes me really happy, and I'll show that in just a second. First off, he comes out of the package with this very angry looking face and a pair of fist hands. He then comes with a slightly less angry face that is still angry, but his eyes are open a bit more, and I don't know which is scarier, the, the normal neutral look that he comes out of the packaging with or this one right here. It's hard to say. Then he comes with a face where he's kind of looking off to the side and yelling i do wish we would have got this faceplate looking forward as well but i mean it is what it is he then comes with these two kind of stylish martial arts pose hands i doubt he does martial arts he probably is just a brawler or a boxer that can throw some hands then he comes with two different hands he comes with this kind of i don't know what this is like uh he has his four fingers together and then thumb out hand and then he does come with a hand that is meant to hold his comb accessory for when he is fixing the hair and I love this. I love this a whole lot. I don't know why, man. I freaking dig this, yo. This isn't the coolest accessory. It definitely could have used some black wash, but it is one that is cool to have. Now, he does also come with an effect piece, and this makes me happy. When figures don't have a ton of hands and face plates, uh, I love when an effect piece is thrown in because it always makes it feel like it's worth the price you pay because we don't get enough accessories for SH Fig Yards with, uh, or that are effect pieces. So this is cool. And then of course he does come with a stand for the effect piece as well. So again, not the most accessories, but enough for me to be satisfied. Moving on to size comparisons, here he is standing next to some of the earlier SH Figyard Street Fighter figures. We have him standing next to the SH Figyard's Ryu, which this is actually the reissued version. It looks the exact same in my opinion. I don't think anything's different, but uh, yeah, as you can see, he definitely has a whole lot more realism to him than Ryu, as there's no sculpted veins or anything like that on Ryu, so it would be cool if they doubled back and made him. We also have him standing next to the SH Figyard. Kin and then the SH Figuarts first release Chun Li. Here he is standing next to the SH Figuarts Rainbow Mika, aka my Street Fighter Waifu. We also have him standing next to the SH Figuarts Vega and then the SH Figuarts Sakura. And now in case you want to get your mix up on, I feel like he looks decent with these figures as well. Here he is standing next to the Jada Toys Ryu, the Jada Toys Fei Long, and the Jada Toys Chun Li. Now, when it comes to my final thoughts on this figure, I'm going to go ahead and be honest with you guys. This right here truly showcases the difference between what Tamashi Nations was when they first started making the Street Fighter line and what they are now. This figure is absolute peak and coming from someone who has absolutely no attachment to this character whatsoever that just goes to show how far tamashi nations has really come because man do i enjoy this figure i don't see it happening but i would love if they were to go back and remake some of the older street fighter figures give them the updated molds the updated sculpt work and ah, they could be so freaking good man i truly feel like it would get a lot of people to dive back into this line now, I don't know if they're making anything else. I don't believe I've seen any other figures announced from them, but I really hope that this isn't the last because this thing is so good and I just feel like it opens so many possibilities, man. There's so many characters in Street Fighter for one, so they have plenty to make. And even though I'm not really attached to most of the dude characters in Street Fighter, I really hope that they would at least remake Ryu and Ken just because if they updated those to go on par with this guy it would be so sick man it would be so freaking sick and then of course i want all of the characters that i mentioned early in the video uh my favorite female characters uh i really hope they remake cammy too i missed out on her i know that this guy's supposed to be her partner so i would love to be able to get my hands on her uh, but we'll see man i really just hope that this line is not over i need more 
from Tamashi Nations when it comes to Street Fighter. But I'm going to be honest with you guys. Go pick this figure up. If you haven't gotten already, go pick this figure up. You're not going to regret it if you like this character, even a little bit. Coming from a guy who doesn't like this character or doesn't know this character at all. So if I enjoy it, I'm sure you guys will. But anyway, that's my review. Hope that you guys enjoyed it. If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That always helps me out. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make sure to hit that bell icon to be notified whenever I upload new content. And last but not least, follow me on everything you see listed in the description below to keep all of my activity outside of YouTube. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe wherever you are. And uh, bye.